All right. Can't get enough of these videos. <laughs> this is passing the time and it's keeping me from eating. Um, because I did a little too much of that over the winter as I waited for my face to go back to normal, which it has not. Um, yeah. Oh, did you see? I just made the face. I just twitched. Did you see that? Sometimes I do that, and then I think, oh, yeah, I'm not allowed to do that. And then I think, yeah, how can I forget? Because I'm caged in now. Um, so... Here I am. So I'll tell you some of the tricks that I have for passing time. Um, one of them is looking forward to things. And the things don't have to be major. The things can be like getting my braces tightened. Um, the things can be like going to a doctor's appointment. Like I have, um, I just... I like to have something next, you know, because it's like, okay, I just get to that day. It's all I got to do is just get to that day. And then when I get there, I think, I remember when this was in the future, but now it's happening. And it helps me understand that future days do arrive. And, and someday the future days are going to arrive when I'm going to wake up and I'm not going to feel walls of glue around my mouth. I'm looking forward to that. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I don't know, I might have mentioned it. Um, <laughs> so it's all I think about and I don't know. I don't apologize for it. I really, it's just the situation I'm in and I can't wait for it to be over. And, and if it means making 5,000 YouTube videos, I will. It really does pass the time remarkably. I'm already two minutes and 33 seconds into this one. And, um, and so it's not just the time it takes to make the video. Then what I do is I watch it and then I upload it. It all takes time. I mean, this is only my third video tonight and already it's dark out and it was light when I got home. So it's good. <laughs> oh God, time is so long you just can't understand. There's no way. I mean, I know there's people that have been through worse. There's people that have been through prison. There's people that have been through eight years of prison. And I understand that that happens. I don't understand how that person gets through it. And then can tell me that the time flew, even when that person explains how the time flew for him. But I, um, this time isn't flying for me. And I don't think I'll ever look back on it and think it went fast. And I know, I know that making all these videos might actually drag it out because, you know, maybe at some point I'll go, oh my God, I have 765 videos uploaded and I still have this crap in my face and that might suck, but um, I don't care. I'm just going to keep talking, smiling. Because by the way, guess what? Mechanical breakdown could be helping, you know. <laughs> so uh, that was one of my reasons for eating a lot was um, chewing. I believed, you know, well, I read that chewing gum can help break it down. So I thought, well, I can't really chew gum because I have like, I've never, I can't, I, there's no gum that I know of these days that I can handle. I have some kind of sensitivities to weird stuff. And um, so I can't handle any gum, but I can handle food. And so I ate and I ate and I ate. And now my pants are tight, really tight. So I'm going to stop eating that much. And I'm going to see if I can make my pants fit a little better again. And um, 
Oh God, when is this going to end? Does anyone know? Does anyone want to take bets? Every time my eyes go like that, in case you're wondering, I'm looking at a calendar. I met this woman last night on one of my, I guess my only social networking website. Well, I guess there's two. If you count the one where I know this tune bot Soros. Um, but it's not really supposed to be a socially, social networking website, I don't think, in the classic sense. But um, well, there's this other one that is, and I met this woman. I think it was Roller, no, Skating Mama. <laughs> and she skates, and she's addicted to it, and she makes me remember how much I miss it. And I wish I could go back, and I can't wait till I can go back, but I need to um, feel better about myself first. Because the last time I went, I went in the bathroom there and I saw myself in the mirror and I said, okay, we're not doing this again until everything's straightened out because I can't handle what I saw in the mirror. So, I don't look like this everywhere. Um, I don't know if at some point with flashlights or lighting, if I could recreate some of the different looks that I have in different lighting. I don't know if I want to. Um, this is more like what I used to look like and um, I'll take it. I mean, you can, I can still see this stuff in certain lighting. Right now it's not so bad. When the sun comes in through the side, it's more noticeable, but uh, there's a matter of how it looks, there's a matter of how it feels. There's a matter of how I feel about how it looks. There's a matter about how I feel about how it feels. I feel pretty pissed off <laughs> that somebody did this to me and that somebody is a doctor. Um, yeah, there's lots of feelings and stuff. So, time. Time moves really slow when you don't watch TV because you can't watch TV because you can't stand to look at faces. And yeah, it would be nice. God, it would be nice if I could just let my mind just get into a TV show and not stare at everyone's faces and think about my old face and look at how comfortable their faces look. That's what I do now whenever I look at people's faces. I think, oh God, that looks comfortable. <laughs> I just want my comfortable face back. So nice. Life was so easy. And I did realize that it was good. I knew I had my I knew my life was as fast as it had ever been. I was as happy as I'd ever been. And I even told the dermatologist that the day of my appointment. She's like, How's it going? I'm like, Oh, it's going awesome. My life is as good as it's ever been. I'm so happy. I'm doing all kinds of stuff and everything so I was roller skating and rollerblading and oh god life was good and I had a social life for like kind of the first time in my life playing ping pong and ragged ball but then then the bad thing hit that was bad but I had a I don't know about I don't know the like how long leading up to it, but God, it was good. And just thinking about it makes me want a hot dog. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, I could go for a hot dog right now. Like really go for a hot dog. Like not just any old hot dog. <laughs> An actual hot dog. On a grill. on a gluten-free bun. That's what I miss. Not just the hot dogs either. I miss the buns. I miss the gluten-free buns. I miss the way they clunk when they hit the counter. They clunk when they hit the floor. And Wild animals come and eat the garbage but they don't eat the gluten-free buns. Life was good. <laughs>
Life was so, so good. I'm scared to get my braces off. I'm scared of what I'll look like. <clears throat> I'm afraid it'll make this look worse. It feels like it burns. Like when I touch it, it's like... And if you saw the ultrasound, it's like what it is. It's like you have skin. And, and then it's like that. And you can see stuff in there. It's really gross. And it doesn't seem like something that should be legal for a doctor to do unless there's a medical reason to do it. And I don't think twitching counts as a medical reason. Doctor. Sorry, you didn't like my twitch. God. All right, enough of this video. Done. Next.